Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Taurus, please? The lovers at the foundation. So there's an energy of balance here. It's an energy of alignment, Taurus. This is an excellent way to start this reading. Being that it's right there at the root chakra, which is all related to your foundation, your stability, it's like balance has been brought back to your foundation, or this is the energy you're moving towards. Whatever the case this reading is going to be an energy that's available to you, okay? So Gemini energy with that lover's energy. It's also an energy of you aligning with your higher self. Whenever I see this card, it's like there's your higher self and here's your matrix self, and it's an energy of an alignment, right? The communication between yourself and the divine, your higher self, is very strong right now. What do we have at the sacral, please? Judgment. Pluto, Scorpio energy at the sacral, okay? So this is an energy of an awakening. It's an energy of rebirth. And being that it's right here at the sacral, this is a very optimistic, very creative, passionate energy. Taurus, I feel like you guys have been feeling more creative, more optimistic lately than you have in a long time. You guys have really been through a lot this past year and a half. There's been a lot of illumination around childhood dynamics, relationships in your life, a lot of illumination around your place in the universe. But now you're entering into a new timeline. You're taking all of this information and you're putting it to work for you. So, you're, so you've empowered yourself moving forward. This is a very, very strong energy, Taurus. And it's an energy where I feel you welcoming this. You want this. You're no longer scared of what the truth is. You're no longer worried about the future. There's an energy of clarity here. This is you waking up to your purpose and you taking the call with a smile on your face, Taurus. What do we have at the solar plexus, please? Wheel of Fortune at the solar plexus in reverse. So this is an energy of being stuck in a rut, things that were completely out of your control. This is how your life used to be. It's the energy of you feeling a sense of instability and stress. And what I'm getting here is, Taurus, it's like somebody else was manning the ship that is your life. Taurus Collective has overcome a lot of narcissistic abuse. Narcissists want to man everybody else's ship, don't they? They want to control everybody else's journey. That's the whole point. This is an energy of negative external forces affecting your steps moving forward. This is over with now. This is what you've overcome. This is you no longer feeling powerless and inferior to these energies. Having enough self-confidence and personal power to drive forward and take control back over your life. What do we have at the heart, please? Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy at the heart. And here you are with your spirit guides, right? Spirit guides are showing you your Akashic records. They're like, oh, yes, Taurus, check it out. Look at what we got. We got this plan for you. You're like, oh, my God. Is this even real? There you are right there in the polka dot thing there. And they're like, yes, Taurus, yes, we know. This is absolutely crazy. But this is what happens when you take the call, right? Judgment energy at the sacral. You wake up to your purpose and your divinity and how special you truly are. You get access to this sort of information intuitively, right? You have a, a legion of angels that surround you and protect you and help guide you into the next ascended timeline. This is you in a whole new cycle in life, Taurus. You collaborating with the divine moving forward. It's a very strong connection you now have because you see how it's this connection that's got you here to begin with. What do we have at the throat? Five of wands at the throat, and there they are. Leo energy. 
trying to create more obstacles and challenges in your life. They don't stop. It's just like an annoying little gnat. It's a very relentless energy. <sighs> the thing is, Taurus, they're not even doing this to your face. This is all happening in spirit. But this energy can't touch you. You're too far gone now. I feel like a lot of these individuals, whoever this is, whatever this energy is here, I feel like they've all turned on each other. They don't have a whipping boy or a whipping girl anymore. They don't have a pin board to throw all their darts at anymore. You're gone. They don't have narcissistic supply and nourishment. They can't nourish their demons now. So the demons are becoming very volatile. The demons are trying to leave these vessels that are just completely used up at this point. These human vessels don't serve these demons anymore. So they must move on and leave these individuals as shells of a human where souls once lived. Right? See, they sold their soul to do this to you and probably countless of other people. It's just selling their soul for a lifestyle is what it comes down to. They may not even have known exactly the damage they were trying to cause to you on a spiritual level, Taurus. They just subscribed to something that they couldn't possibly even comprehend, but there was something attached to it, some sort of gain, material gain, which has far since been used up. What do we have at the third eye, please? Boom. Six of Wands, Leo Energy, victory at the third eye. And this is where the divine is getting you to right now. Okay, this is the energy they want you to encompass. This is the narrative. This is what's taken place over these challenges in your life. Victory over this timeline. You've beat this level. What do we have at the crown, please? Too many cards. What do we have at the crown? The hermit. Virgo energy at the crown. And it's because of this, Taurus. It's because you have this understanding. Understanding that you were able to gain through deep introspection and listening to your inner guidance. You went on a mission to find your soul and your personal truth and you found it. Three of Pentacles energy at the heart. The divine showed you they said, yes, we will collaborate with you, Taurus. We've been waiting for you this entire time. We just needed you to remember what you came here to do. We're so pleased you've showed up, Taurus. We have so much to show you. Hermit Virgo energy at the crown. What do we have at the foundation from the occult tarot, please? Four of Wands, Aries energy, person at the foundation. This is an energy of you moving on from these individuals. You started to see the truth. You started to have clarity. You started to understand what was taking place here that these energies were stagnating you, that it was time to move on, move on from this chaos. These energies just wanted to use you for narcissistic supply. I feel like they treated you as a pushover. I feel like you did a lot for these individuals in some capacity here, Taurus. It's a very ungrateful energy I'm picking up here. What do we have at the sacral? I mean, I always get the Cinderella energy from the Taurus reads anyway, right? It's like them using you. Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy, Nabareus at the sacral. This is like Seven of Pentacles in reverse energy. This is an energy of misfortune and loss. This is them wanting you to give up, Taurus, right? That there's no way you will ever, ever reap any rewards for your hard work. They wanted you just to remain lazy, right? Low vibrational Taurus energy. They wanted to bring out the absolute worst in you. That's what demons do. They target 
the absolute worst in you, and they want to bring that to the surface. You started to notice this. This is what allowed this judgment energy to come through and create exposure around what was taking place here. What do we have the solar plexus, please? Too many cards. What do we have at the solar plexus? Five of Pentacles, Taurus energy again, Gamigan. This is an energy of a poverty mindset. It's an energy of isolation, Taurus, financial loss, bad health. This is the plan they had for you. Just an old horse out back the farm waiting to get put down, right? No longer of use to anybody. Just a wounded old horse. That's what they saw for you, Taurus. You're starting to realize now that these were demons and that you're this high vibrational angel, earth angel, sent here to live a great life and spread positive influence. And it all makes sense to you once you start to understand who you are. What do we have at the heart, please? Zagan, Eight of Pentacles, Unnatural Passions, Virgo Energy at the heart. This is like Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is a very unreliable energy. It's a very unambitious energy. It's an energy that's lacking focus. This is what they had planned for you. They wanted to project fear onto you so you wouldn't see who you really were, Taurus. Yamabel, Affinity and Friendship, which is the Ace of Swords from the Angel Tarot. And here you are, thinking very clearly. It's an energy of raw power and victory. It's an energy of mental strength. You understanding now who you really are. Breaking free of this bondage, spiritually speaking, and stepping into your power. What do we have at the... Throat, please. Ace of Wands. The patient God. Fertility and multiplicity. Protects against despair. Helps one be patient. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with that Ace of Swords at the heart right there. So Ace of Swords to Ace of Wands. you now thinking clearly, which allows you to bring in this creative strength, which is all your potential and courage and enthusiasm, all the tools you need to bring through this new energy into your life, these new beginnings. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, these are like tools you utilize moving into the new timeline now. Mental clarity, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, creative strength. What do we have at the third eye, please? Two of Swords, Libra Energy, Anil. God, Lord of all virtues, breaking the circle, lifts opposing barriers, brings victory. This is you carving yourself out of this karmic cycle, making the decision to leave all that which doesn't serve you and your highest good behind. Taurus, no longer entertaining demons, no longer avoiding the truth. What do we have for the crown, please? Crown position closes out for Taurus. Page of Swords at the crown, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, to close out the reading. Refuge governs dreams and reveals mysteries hidden from mortals. And here they are. Watching you on this new timeline, Taurus. Right? They got nothing to say. Look. They got their they got their mouth tied up and they gotta watch you on a poster. Right? It's just a it's just an energy of seeing you in your new timeline, however this shows up for you. It doesn't have to literally be on a poster, maybe, but it's just more of them watching from the sidelines 
as you live your best life, Taurus. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Taurus. Take care.